Hello, what I want to do today is to show you a very user-friendly way of running um, Selenium automated tests on web applications being driven by another open source tool called Fitness. The reason I'm doing this is um, anyone who's looked into Selenium on the internet or tried it themselves are probably familiar with the, uh, the cheese search example which is quoted quite a lot. This is a very simple example of how to uh, search for cheese on Google using, uh, using Selenium and this is coded in Java which is obviously quite a technical implementation and I think uh, seeing Java code like that seems users are running to the hills a little bit. So just looking for a, a slightly simpler method for, for users to read. And I think using this method is, as I stated up here, I think it's user friendly, it's maintainable, it's easily editable and rapidly expandable. So that same Qi search example we saw in Java there, this is what it looks like in Fitness. Put a gherkin up there. Um, given that I have typed cheese in Google search field, when I click search, I should see a list of cheese related results. To some extent that's a little redundant, because down here the script is actually very self-documenting. Search Google for cheese. I want to see this text, cheese.com. I don't want to see this text, burgers.com. Very user-friendly, very easy to read. We click test to execute these tests. It takes about 10 seconds for the, uh, the Selenium server to start up and start uh, executing those tests. So if I uh, go in there, there's the, uh, there's the Selenium server starting up. And there's Google, and uh, it's busily typing away uh, fields there and capturing the results. So now when we go back here, what we'll see is, um, we see we've got five tests passed, none have failed, and for each step in the test, um, it shows that it's turned to green to show the user the test passed, uh, and it gives them a real good comfort factor. I'll show you what's going on behind the scenes here. Basically we've got a, a gherkin written in plain text at the top there and then we've just got a list of variable definitions. So what we do is we uh, we define a, a search text variable of cheese, uh, we define an expected text variable of cheese.com and an unexpected text variable of burgers.com and then we include a driver script to tell us um, what to do. I'll show you what that driver script looks like. Again, it's written in there, very much the same, easy to understand language. Uh, so we're searching Google for a variable, um, and then we're searching for uh, some other variables further on in the script. And those, are, those variables are defined in the executable scripts we've just seen. The secret behind all this is that in the, uh, the actual guts of it are written in the scenario library. So we, uh, we call very user-friendly scenario names, and then the implementation is done behind the scenes. So the search Google for scenario is actually doing this behind the scenes. It's telling Selenium to open this web page, google.co.uk. It's telling Selenium to type uh, this variable, search string, into a field that's got a name of Q. It's telling Selenium to click a button with a name of BTNG and wait for the results to be present. And then we've got a similar scenario implementation of checking the uh, presence of the text later on. I just want to show you how quick it is now to expand those test suites up. So I'm going to go back to my test suite. I'm going to copy, copy my cheese search test. Make sure I've got Make sure I've got that. And I'm going to add another test, add child, and I'm going to call this test Eve Search. paste my text in for my cheese search and edit it for my new variable. So this time I'm going to search for beef. I definitely want to see beef in my list of results. Something I definitely don't want to see in my list of results is horse meat. Change my gherkin there as well so it's all nice and easy to read and ready for users to execute. As you can see, a nice user-friendly test. But we don't want to be running one test at a time, we want to be running lots. So if I go to my test suite, click the suite button, what this is going to do is going to invoke the suite setup, get Selenium running, run all three tests in that suite, and then it's going to uh, tear the test down and make sure everything's tidied up. So my Selenium RC's up and running there. And busily typing away the search criteria in Google. As we can see at the end, uh, two of the tests passed because we searched for cheese and got cheese, searched for crackers and got crackers, but we searched for beef and we found horse meat. 